Reverend Don Lewis coming to you from beautiful Florida. And recently I had the great pleasure of attending the 25th annual St. Louis Pagan Picnic. And as you may know, if you follow Magic TV, the St. Louis Pagan Picnic is one of my favorite events of the Pagan Community Summer Festival season. And I consider it one of the best events in the country and highly recommend it. And certainly its 25th anniversary is a bit of a milestone and a very wonderful thing. We were very pleased to attend, and Reverend Lori Blackman and I had the great pleasure of doing a large number of interviews at the picnic, as well as recording some of the rituals that took place, and we're very happy to share them with you here at Magic TV. And you can see those videos coming over the next several days. And we're going to start with my interview with Laura Gonzalez from the Pagans Tonight Radio Network. I'm sure that you'll enjoy it and watch for many more videos to follow. Hi, my name is Laura Gonzalez and I'm here on the St. Louis Pagan Picnic, celebrating with our Pagan community. Uh, you probably know me for when I say good evening, good morning, good night, good second breakfast. This is Laura Gonzalez and you're listening to Lunatic Mondays, the very first and only bilingual show for Pagans Tonight Radio Network. I'm also a tarot reader, and I'm currently a minister in training at Circle Center. How are you? I am very well. How are you? Good, are good, you having good. a good weekend? I'm having a blast. Uh, I'm also having a cold, so that's not too much fun. A summer cold, but it's great uh, seeing a lot of people. Finally getting to meet you in person. And um, having a great time getting to know a lot of people here. Uh, we enjoy a beautiful uh, concert yesterday with Spiral Rhythm and uh, we met Christopher Pensack, we met Leo Brown, we met Reverend Don Lewis, we've seen Selena Fox. I mean, everybody's here and everybody's having a great time. So tell us, tell us about Lunatic Mondays. Lunatic Mondays, oh my god, it's beautiful. It's going on a year and a half almost. <laughs> And we have had guests from all over the globe. Uh, we've had um, people from Spain, from Argentina, from Colombia, from Mexico, from Chile. And of course, everyone here from the States. Uh, we have yet to get someone from the UK or anywhere else in Europe. Uh, and that was a concept that was born out of, uh, a little bit out of Pamela Kelly's head and mind when we got together and she very graciously asked me to come back to the radio and you all know I love Pagans Tonight Radio Network I've been there, I did uh, um, Pagans Tonight in Espanol for three years and three months and uh, I was invited back to Pagans Tonight Radio Network and my idea was to do a show in English which I was not very confident about doing it because I don't know I didn't know if my radio voice in English was going to be as natural as it is in Spanish, obviously. And Pamela encouraged me and then she um, she said, you know, whatever you want to do and whichever day you want to do it, we can do it. And kind of the name came first, you know, Lunatic Mondays. And then I thought, um, but I don't want to forget about the Spanish speaking pagan community, obviously, because they're always in my heart. And that's when I decided, I told Pamela, I want to do the show probably every other week. And then I said, well, but we have to do another one in Spanish, probably every other week. And I didn't want to commit myself to that many weeks. I ended up committing myself to four weeks a month. So there you have it. <laughs> and that's how the concept came up, two weeks. Um, every other week is in English, every other week is in Spanish. Um, I have suggestions of doing it on Spanglish or mixing two languages. I'm sorry, but I cannot do that. I love both languages too much, uh, and I think each one deserves respect, and each public deserves also respect. So one week is in English, the next one is in Spanish, and so on and so forth. And it's been wonderful. Um, a bit confusing sometimes for people, because they tune in when the show is in Spanish and they speak English or vice versa. But guess what? People are learning two languages, which is great. Um, yes, indeed. I think that's the best way to learn. Uh, and then there are people who have uh, 
they took Spanish on high school or or vice versa, people who took uh, English on high school, and then they tune in, they listen. Um, I guess they know the tone of my voice and the inflections, and so they can kind of put it together. And we have, um, at least that I know, about two or three people that listen to all of them because they want to learn and they want to practice their Spanish, which is great. Um, and they also are interested in what's happening in the pagan community in um, Spanish, Spanish speaking countries. And as you said one time, and I borrow that phrase from you, we are an international pagan community. And it is a shame that the language divides us sometimes. Mm. So I always say I'm unofficially the official bridge between us. <laughs> I am by no means taking that too seriously. I'm not official anything. I just do it because I love paganism and I love our community and I love that people, I wish that everybody could understand each other and yeah. we will have so much fun. Um, so that's why I do Lunatic Mondays. I produce every show, I, uh, I do everything. I direct, I engineer, I get the guests and so far wonderful, wonderful people have said yes. Uh, we had Selena Fox, Zenix Carpenter, uh, this month of June we're going to have Wendy Rule, we're going to have uh, Reverend Don Lewis, we're going to have a lot of people, uh, Yolanda Benajes from Spain and then Monica Govindo and her um, astrology uh, collaborations because we also focus a lot on tarot, mm -hmm. obviously because tarot is near, near to my heart and we have every week a reading for the week. Uh, and then we do it in English and we do it in Spanish, depending on the week. And uh, we also have astrologers and we have other people that collaborate, room readings or whatnot. Uh, people that I just invite to do the reading for the week. And um, so far, I want to believe that people like it. We're still in the air, so it's been a, year, a little bit over a year, um, year and a half almost. I think people like it. I think people like it. We, we <laughs> love doing it. and. I always tell people when I open the show and when I start saying my little good morning, good evening, good night, uh, my heart is always pumping and my heart is always like T -t 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 going super fast and the day that stops happening, I guess that's the day the show is not exciting anymore. But so far every Monday I'm like a lion in a cage waiting for the show to begin and then it's that adrenaline thing and five minutes within the show is so good and it's beautiful and as you can see I'm a chatterbox so I love to communicate with people and also I learn a lot about everything. All my guests are wonderful and there are people who are very knowledgeable of their craft and their thing, whatever they do, and they come to talk about on the show. Um, Gods, I've learned so much, you know, with every one of the guests. And then, of course, the musical guests, you know, that they're wonderful people and they share their art with all of us. And also, we've made a point of uh, having the show being very diverse. So we are not only talking about paganism, but we are also talking about um, I don't know, gender diversity and acceptance and um, ecology and how to uh, help all the very many problems. Sometimes we even tap into politics because when you're an activist you cannot not talk about things like that. Uh, feminism, women's rights, LGBTQ rights. We have had a suicide prevention show. Um, we had a Mother's Day special with all the uh, Spanish-speaking mothers because it's also a taboo um, subject on the pagan community, still for some people. Uh, so we tried to make it very diverse and to bring all that information to everyone that would like to listen to the show. Very good. Thank you. If people would like to learn more about the show, where would they go? You can go to Facebook and there is a page that is called precisely Lunatic Mondays, Lunes Lunaticos. 
there is also a page that is called Pagans Tonight Radio Network, and you can go and find me on both those pages. You can also go to my Tarot by Laura Gonzalez page, and from there you can follow my tracks and find my personal page and find the Lunatic Mondays page. Uh, there's also, obviously, all the shows are archived in the Pagans Tonight Radio Network archives, so you can go and listen to all of the old shows. And for people who are familiar with iBox, and this is a platform that mostly uh, people who speak Spanish, either from Spain or Latin America, use it, and they are also archived on iBox. And all you have to type is Lunatic Mondays, Lunes Lunaticos, you will find it everywhere. Uh, we're not officially on Instagram, but if you follow me on Instagram, which is uh, Magia Serati, that's me on Instagram, um, and I promote the show there too, and we talk about who's going to be our guest and stuff like that. So basically, everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. I hope you have a lovely time here at the picnic. Yes. We're having a great time. We're chatting with everybody. We're trying to get some interviews for the show. Um, and you know, just connected with, with our community is great. Wonderful, thank you very much. Thank you so much.